often the way we find out that medications interact is after the medication is being used and we're like, oh, you know, in, in what people call post-marketing, right? And like, oh, that seems to be an interaction. Or people will say, well, there's a liver interaction, like a theoretical interaction and, um, you know, but very rarely do people go to the trouble of doing a lot of research on interactions between psychotropic meds before the medication comes out. Um, that you could, there are some examples of these that are you know at risk, but but psychedelics there have been there has been very little work. Just like people with bipolar have been excluded, people on any psychotropic have been excluded or have been tapered off of those medications in all the trials. Um, so what does that leave us with? It's not like we don't have, know anything. What we know is either from animal work, um, you know, preclinical studies in, in rodents usually, or more it's from the community again. So there was a study where uh, people at Hopkins reviewed Arrowid and um, Reddit, and were looking specifically at people who'd used psychedelics with lithium and lamictal. And what they found was that uh, people who combined lithium, uh, lithium and psychedelics said that bad things happened on Reddit, uh, but still, uh, uh, you know, seizures, ending up in the hospital, you know, and it, and it was enough times that the, the authors, they were concerned. They were like, oh, this seems risky. With Lamictal, there didn't seem to be a lot of reports. Now, I wouldn't say like, go out, it's totally fine, <laughs> right? But that is somewhat reassuring. Um, there's also this whole question about SSRIs and psychedelics. This is, this is a whole other space um, that, we know surprisingly little, given how widespread uh, SSRIs are prescribed. Um, you know, there, there has been a study or two from the previous time, back in the 70s, suggesting that being on a chronic SSRI can, um, uh, not the 70s, 90s, sorry, because SSRIs weren't around in the 70s. There was one study and it suggested that people had a, a blunted psychedelic response when they were on an SSRI. But then there was a recent study that just came out in healthy people, people without a psychiatric disorder, um, well, without a known psychiatric disorder. <laughs> and they gave them Lexapro for two weeks and then gave them psilocybin. And they found that the Lexapro didn't blunt the psychedelic effect, but it did blunt the anxiety, which was a surprise. I mean, to me, maybe not to the community. Um, and so we actually are doing a study uh, also on Reddit um, where we have asked, we, we, we've searched all the posts for people who combined SSRIs and uh, psychedelics. And what we're finding there is both of those things. Some people say that they get a lot of blunting and some of the people say that they just blunt the anxiety. So I don't totally know the story there, um, uh, but I think there's something really interesting going on uh, mm -hmm. there. Because uh, I guess I should say psychedelics work through the serotonin system and SSRIs, one of, the, one of those S's is ser serotonin. And so you could imagine that these things would be interacting. I mean, the brain's pretty complicated.